Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I have here a Timu haul yet again, and this is all concentrated around kitchen. So it's kind of a, a kitchen haul, okay? I have a lot of uh, small items and I have a couple of big items, and it's all literally related to the kitchens, kitchen storage and kitchen gadgets. If you know me, if you follow the channel, then you know that I like to cook. And I have a little one as well who also enjoys cooking. So I have a couple of things here that are also of interest to children or related to children and cooking. So without further ado, let me put those things to the side, guys, and I can show you what I have one by one. So let's start with the smallish things first, okay? And this is here. It's so simple, guys. And you find with the whatever you choose to binge purchase on Timu, it's the sort of things that it's a bit like... Um, it's very, very cheap and very basic, but idea is there, but it will just hit the nail if this is something that you're looking for. Okay, I've got here, guys, a pasta container, okay? This is a long, um, rather than the ones that are standing up tall, this one sits in your pantry lengthwise, okay? Because I never have a space on my shelves that will fit a tall pasta container, and I'm fed up, honestly, guys, fed up of seeing a multiple amount of packets of pasta, like a spaghetti pasta with a little Ziploc thingy on the top. It's literally, I have about four or five because you get to the stage of having some and you kind of forget, you shove them in the back of a cupboard and it got forgotten about. So here we have a plastic container. It just, it's so straightforward, okay? You just put the pasta in there, but I don't have to mess around with all those open packets. And to me, that's absolutely genius. And it was literally, it was super, super cheap. So if you have the same issue as me with the pasta, that this could be a solution for you, okay? Right, next thing, guys, right, is the olive oil sprayer. I've been wanting one for absolutely ages, okay? This one is a 300 mil. You open it up. Put the olive oil in there or whatever oil you guys use and then you spray it it's i've cooked mostly we have a chicken i cook a lot of eggs and i quite often end up sort of putting a bit of oil and then sort of using a little brush thing to brush it around um i know they say all oh, the frying pans are not stick but technically they um actually do anyway so this is a brilliant idea again you can use that for vinegar if you want you can use that well i'll be using this for oil so again it's simplicity in its own right, and that was like £2.49. Again, it's crazy, but it is super, super handy. Out. Right, next thing. I love them purely because of the colour, guys. Yeah, look at this. Sorry. So, I have set here, guys, of... You probably already have some. I did, and then I ended up losing them all over the place. Is the little measuring cups and the measuring spoons. So if you follow the recipe, it's really handy to have them. Um, so you've got here, we have quarter of a cup, one third of a cup, half a cup and a cup. And they are absolutely brilliant. I have some of them that I know of whereabouts of. What I have living in the pots, like when we dispense a coffee in the coffee machine and they are superb. Um, they are plastic, not metal, which I prefer, but they do have a metal handles. And they are just, because they're stackable, it's, Super cute. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Here we are, guys. Look, I've gone for the um, rose gold and the grey, but you can obviously choose what you want. There's multiples of colours available. I'm going to stop fidgeting with that. Okay. Again, brilliant, brilliant. Right, next thing, okay. I have a coffee bean shape silicone mould. And you might be thinking, why on earth do you want one of those? Well, um... We used to travel to Italy quite a lot, okay? And in Italy, they sell a coffee beans in chocolate, covered in chocolate. And we absolutely used to love them and bring a lot of them home. I don't think, hold on, let me get this out. I don't think we can buy them here in UK. So I was for ages looking to be able to find something like this. Eventually, they did come up on my Amazon book about 10 and I'm like there's no way really I want to spend 10 quid on something like this however again on Timu they are super super cheap so I've decided to give it a go so as you can see they're literally coffee shaped okay so the idea is that we put a coffee bean in there okay the whole bean and then we put chocolate in there skim it and let it settle and then we have coffee no and we have a chocolate covered coffee bean so I'm super excited my husband's gonna love me for that one so there we are right next thing Okay, it's a little bit of a, not say novel, do you think, but, right, so we have a little one, okay? She used to love eggs, and at the moment she doesn't want to eat them because they are no longer fun. And this is what I'm saying to you guys, because this is part of this here, some of it is related to um, kids and obviously kids and food. Um, 
at certain age, toddlers become quite fussy and you have to make food fun. So, because she used to like eggs and I know she likes eggs, but she wouldn't have them because they're just boring, I've got one of those little bear or Mickey Mouse shaped little egg shapes. So when we fry an egg, I can put it in there and I can draw some ice with a tomato ketchup and they will have this. Again, that was like 80 pence. What a superb, superb idea. So I'd definitely be cooking a egg in that. She can't say no then, can she? Right, next thing. Again, guys, this is super cute, but uh, they are the little silicone beer bottled caps, okay? Um, last year, right, on a year before, sorry guys, I've been bitten by a wasp in my mouth. Yep, I know it sounds a bit awful, but I had a bottle of cider outside. Uh, I put it on the table, I walked away from it and I didn't think to check, okay? And when I come to drink the cider, unfortunately, good job I didn't swallow it, but it bit me in the inside of my lip and obviously ended up spitting it out. So um, those things come to the rescue. What a brilliant idea, guys. You literally, if you open up a beer and don't dispense it into the cup, you can just put this on the top and you don't have to worry any of the bugs getting into your drink. At the same time, okay, guys, I think it's super important so for ladies, if you do go out somewhere in the pub or whatever, in the restaurant, and you drink from the bottle rather than having um, beverage in a glass, I think it's a good idea to have something in your handbag so you can just put it on the top if you're popping in somewhere or you just turn around because you just never know. There's a lot of things going around about, of obviously, ladies' drinks being spiked with the unwanted substances. So I think they're a super great idea. And again, I've got a pack of six here, guys. They're multicolored and they were under a pound. So absolutely win to me, guys. Super cheap and what, what a brilliant, brilliant idea. So do if you do want them, again, they sell out pretty fast because they are really cheap and um yeah they seem to be gone out of stock before so i had to wait a little bit so there we are next thing right again here we have i'm actually impressed with the sheer size of this one this is a stainless steel peeler but i didn't buy it for the peeler alone okay this one here has a shredder so when you um do a carrot or whatever vegetable, you want to shred this in like a little thin pieces, then this is your gadget. I've been wanting one of those and I had numerous of mandolins that meant to shred the stuff, but they just don't, they don't properly work. However, when I seen that, I thought I certainly have to give this a try. There's a one specific recipe that my grandma used to cook that involves, it's like a Korean salad made consistently mainly of, sorry, consists mainly of carrots and they have to be shredded into tiny thin strips and I'm talking about like a little tiny like a spaghetti type strips so this is a gadget we're going to be doing the trick so I'm super happy and there was again like it was a two pounds or two pounds fifty it's absolutely amazing I'm actually surprised of the quality for that price guys like you barely can buy anything now you can't even buy coffee for under three quid now so um this is superb so I'm super super chuffed with that one another thing again food related you might laugh at that one but again um to get your kids to eat vegetables, it's really, really hard, especially sort of fresh, fresh vegetables. Um, this one here is a spiralizer, like a cut in the, cut in basically like a cucumber, cucumber or the carrot into like little twisty, twirly, whirly thing. And again, this was under a pound and she loves cucumbers at the moment, but it's more fun if the cucumber is on the stick and it's shaped into some sort of a twirly, whirly. So again, for that price, I'm like, I'm going to give it a go because I know we're going to be going through stages of her not liking certain things. So I have to make things fun. And this is, will be one of the gadgets that we're going to be using to make things look fun. Right, next thing. Okay, you probably, we all, you probably have heard about them, guys. Um, this is, right, let me get that open here. And I rely on those, but I do go through a lot of them. They are mats, okay, they're heat proof mats. Oh, they're nice and thick, my goodness. Oh my god. Um, this is really good, really good. Um, I use them to line the bottom of an oven, so you don't have to worry about cleaning your oven um, too much because it's just easy. You just whip them out under the hot water, wipe them down brilliant idea and at the same time I use them on the barbecue um, we only have like a slotted barbecues both of them are just slots and we don't have a flat surface um, I use them to cook eggs so if I cook breakfast in the morning on a barbecue I can easily put the egg on there without obviously worrying about it falling through um, they are fire retardant so they are absolutely fine as I said I've been using them for absolute years now and I had the thinner ones I bought from Lakeland before this is you can hear that this is pretty thick so again what a genius things um 
strongly suggest them guys be it for the barbecue or for the oven they are absolutely brilliant they are multiple use they're not single use they do wear out eventually because they just do especially if you use them a lot but they work out to be um again i think under a pound each so it is super super good deal right mm. oh right again it's their personal choices then don't judge me guys right you might think it's a lot of you know and who wants to do this but I like cooking and I like filming it. So, um, this is a pastry lattice cutter, okay? So, when you roll out your pastry, you roll that through and it breaks up your pastry in a lattice. My husband loves, and I cook him the um, salmon pastry, okay? And he always wonders why do I not do the pastry like when they do this crisscrossy way? So, I'm like, well, because I don't know how to cut it this way. <laughs> However, I found this gadget and it does exactly that. So now that means it's going to be stop whinging and my um, baked salmon or some other goods and pie is going to look far more interesting than what they do right now. And again, because um, it's all plastic, guys, you, it's sharp plastic, so um, you can easily wash it, you probably put it in the dishwasher. Um, so it's absolutely brilliant. And again, it was super, super cheap. So I'm well happy. Right, I think this one here... It's probably the epiphany of my helping hand in the kitchen. Right, have you guessed it what this is yet? Okay, it's got little sucking things there, but it doesn't work so well on my worktop. It's tough to be a little bit flat, but it's still non-slip. Okay, have you guessed it yet? If you preserve as much as I do, okay, I make uh, some tomato sauces or some um, pestos, and I do like to freeze them in the bags like that sometimes. So this gadget here, it's adjustable by height, okay? Have you guessed what it does yet? So, you put your bag in here, you clip it up, make sure you adjust your height first. And you have a helping hand to keep your bag open. Do you know if you ever try to ladle a sauce into the bag, when you try to hold it with one hand and try to put it in the cup or find it's the container that takes the bag, it doesn't always work. Well, there it is. Look at this. This is absolute genius idea. And because it folds, so obviously first of all, guys, it extends high, so if you have a bigger bag, perfect. Folds down and folds down flat in your cupboard. Again, they do multiple of colours. Um, again, that was like 80 something pence. It's super cheap. I've gone for yellow because, well, why not? And I think it's honestly, guys, I can't stop saying this. It's absolute genius. Right, this thing's right. Okay. They are little trays. Okay. Look at that. So, two trays. You're like, why? Why would you want such small trays? Well, again, if you followed, I've got. Um, I've done a review on how the high sapienti ovens, air fryer ovens, the ones that are with the drawers. Okay, and they come with the shelves. Of course, everything comes with the shelves. But um, I never seem to have enough trays because I like to cook if I do multiple of air frying, okay? I want to have more than one item in the air fryer, okay? And sometimes um, I just don't have enough space in there to put, if that makes sense, right? So look at those little trays. They're perfect to fit in my air fryer. And of course, you can use them in, in a normal oven as well. But especially if you cook with only like two of you and you're trying to cook something or a few items at the same time in the oven, you kind of don't want to necessarily always put uh, multiple items in the same tray. But here, you can put two of them side by side on one shelf. And these things, it's like super cool. Again, they were like two pounds and a bit. All the links, guys, and the prices will be down below. So um, again, if you have the same issue as me with the air fryer or not having enough space in the trays, they are absolutely brilliant idea. Okay, so now we're coming down to this little set. And as I'm into that for you later, it is literally a kiddies cooking set. Again, I've been looking at those online for ages and they are quite expensive. You do get a lot of things in there, but again, looking at Timu, they are very, very affordable. We literally have a um, kids cooking set, okay? So, I'll tell you what I have. She's gonna have, she's not gonna have it yet. She's gonna have it probably for Christmas. Get it out. She have a little chopping board. Get a chopping board. Right, this one here is where she can put, um, she can use that as a cutter. So you can cut a soft, like a banana with your little, because it's sharpened here. And you can also put something here so you can cut it with a knife. We have a little 
a bread sandwich squasher so you can make a sandwich and then you can basically cut it out in the shape of a bear so again when a normal sandwich is too boring for children they don't like it crust again what a brilliant idea to make it look a little bit more fun for them and she can do that herself next thing we have is a little um little cookie cutters so again you can use them to do a cookie cutting <laughs> or you can do like shapes from like a banana or soft fruit and it works really really well all right and then here we have again um a child friendly peeler okay which is plastic because you know those peelers are generally super sharp for little fingers but being a plastic it might not do a lot guys but it will get the kids practicing if you're wanting to get your child into the cooking those sets are paramount okay and don't be scared so like one of those i do have one of those already this is a metal crinkle cutter she's able at three easily to go through and cut a carrot so long as you teach them to keep their fingers away from it okay it's absolutely fine and it makes it so much fun for them and the same here guys we have child friendly scissors okay we have a like a little pastry silicone um, scoopers all right and we have knives you can buy them separate as well but it's a better deal okay you can get them together with a set here we are look so you've got a non-slip grip here for the kids and they are they're not sharp guys as long as you don't let them run around with it you'll be able to cut through um through banana through cucumber i reckon you can cut through carrot with that as well so i'm super happy i'm super happy i've chose that okay and of course we have a whisk as a little plastic one so this is it's all usable with real food so to me it's um it's absolutely must i think it's really important guys um i don't know if, if you have children or not but to make sure that the kids are actually able to cook and able to get themselves through i think man nowadays many people sort of or many children not able to sort of cook because parents maybe don't teach them i don't know but in my family it's a lot of it it's about cooking i've grown up with a family that cooks and preserves all the time so for me to teach my child how to do um to do cooking i use the utensils from early age it's super super important and so this is why i've chosen this one okay so let me get this away next thing okay it's have you guessed it what it is it's a utensil set spoil the surprise right i have and i'm really bad at that right i have a lot a lot of utensils but they are all misshaped because some of them are sentimental some of them i used to and some of them i just don't want to throw away but here we go i've gone for light wood and gray let me get this out okay so they're silicone and you've got a little stand sorry guys i'm making a mess here right Let's get the bits out. okay so you've got a little pot plastic pot for the holes underneath they're good so if you do mistakenly put them wet they can drain off so we have a little slotted spoon we have a little pasta shape not pasta shape sorry pasta scooper or salad scooper little ladle okay we have mini spatula we have like a pastry type side scraper i love those i love those for mixing i just adore that little um the edge the slightly rounded edge for the balls we have a spoon we have a square spoon we have another small square spatula without the holes a whisk a little brush then we have <laughs> i have loads of those the little um, tongs and we have egg separator okay so you can separate your eggs from <laughs> eggs your egg whites from your egg yolks and then we have a um silicone um like a tray so you can put your spoon when you're cooking okay so you can rest it, you don't have to mess make a mess on a table so all of that guys was i think it was like 11 pounds or something i think it's super cute um i'm not going to keep that in there and neither is that but i think it's great i'm going to put them in my drawer there because as you can see my kitchen is bare because i like things hidden and i like them super neat although i do have some uh, stuff on the other side <laughs> anyway so there we are Okay, so next things guys, I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly get this all away so I can show you two of my big ones. Okay, guys, look. When I said tidy up, I'm just going to shove somewhere behind me, all right? <laughs> anyway, 
I've wanted one of those for ages, okay? For ages. Let me get that down there. Right, this is a rice storage and dispenser. This one is a bigger model, okay? This one takes 10 kilos of rice. So here, okay, we have, if I turn this around, as a portion, we have a button here that will dispense amount of rice in your cup. How good is that? Here, it open it up, okay? You can see it's a really, it's a really big container, okay? Lid, whether you have your dates, or you got number so you can put the dates you put the rice in there or whatever whatever reason you choose to use the date in here for guys okay i would put the date i put the rice in there so you kind of roughly know when you put it there however if you use it you're it kind of doesn't matter and then we have here a container to put your smellies so you can put either bay leaf anything else clove leaves not clove leaves cloves anything you want to put in there to deter any bugs in your rice okay um they do them in the different colors guys so I've chosen grey because, as you can see, I like grey, right? I'm thinking it's just brilliant. As I said, they do a smaller one, which is another 100 mil less, so it might be better for you to fit in a cupboard if that's what you choose to do. I'm going to put this on the opposite side in the kitchen there in the corner, and I absolutely love it, absolutely love it. Okay, so if I put this to the side. And to this one, guys, okay... I'm gonna give that one away. I think I got this as a giveaway. I have promised you a giveaway from Timmy before. I haven't um, accomplished that yet, but I will do, I promise I will be. Right, <laughs> have you guessed that? Right, I'm not gonna, let me just do that. Right, this is, okay, pretty much similar to that. However, we have multiple compartments. This is a grain dispenser. Look at that. Again, I think they're absolutely genius, absolutely genius. So, you have your front, front tray. So, each one of those compartments, if you open up the lid, you've got the space to put your smellies, um, spices, whatever you want to put in there. And you've got your six compartments to put your rice, your beans, uh, whatever guys that you cook with, okay? And each one of those compartments have has a button. So, if you come here, you press the button, the bottom floor opens up a hole and you dispense the amount that you require. I think, I think, I think it's brilliant. Again, I've gone for white because it's a bit, I don't know, it's white and grey, it's kind of light in colour, it kind of goes with every kitchen. So keep tuned in guys for my giveaways. Don't forget to find me on Instagram because I do do giveaways there as well. So um, I think it's brilliant guys, I think it's, I love it. And the whole fact that you can twist that, you can actually have this in the cupboard, you don't have to have this standing in the kitchen if you don't want to, but I think it's just easy way rather than trying to uh, mess around, trying to get the box or the jar, whatever you have, twist it, press the button, you are done. So it's absolutely genius. So there we are guys. So this is concludes my kitchen team you haul. Um, hopefully you enjoy this, hopefully you can get some ideas from that. As I said, I've put my link down below, all the prices, all the, the information about the products I purchased are there. So, uh, well, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.